Hey guys, um, I stayed away from Marvel for a long time for the simple reason of it's so expensive. Um, if you're lucky, you can get stuff for a cover price, which is three ninety nine, not count tax. And it's just for crap that they they just throw at you. If you you saw my rant video on my other channel the other day with the whole I'm irate about the Star Wars thing, you know that I don't care for Marvel. But, there are titles I like, and this happens to be one of them. This is Amazing X-Men, this is issue one. Um, I was in the mood for X-Men one day, and I was like, I'm like, you know, there's a new X-Men coming out. That's when I got, I picked up three X-Men titles, uh, one of which sucked. That was Marvel Knights X-Men issue 105, which I won't review, because it's just, it was just bad. So, Amazing X-Men number one brings back Nightcrawler. Now, Nightcrawler was killed off a couple decades ago, I think. And these remain dead. And it starts off with him in heaven. Or a paradise-type place like that. And, which is fascinating, we got heaven and hell going on right now. And, yeah, we got Firestar, which no way his shape is... Her name based off of Starfire. No. We got all sorts of things. Um, one of the funniest, one of the stupider things, but funny, was they brought back Storm's mohawk. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, Storm's got a mohawk. And yeah, I like this lineup of X Men because Cyclops isn't in it. And I don't know about you, but I don't like him. I find him annoying. And that whole love triangle thing, I never liked that. That's why I've been hesitant against reading a lot of X-Men. But um, I really like this title. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. It is a must-read for Marvel goers out there right now. And in my opinion, it's, well, it's one of their best titles that... That I read. I mean, I don't read that many, but you know. So yeah, that was my that's my review. Um, recommend it to all. Yeah. Have a nice day. Tomorrow's Star Wars Tuesday. Hopefully, I'll be here. But um, I'm thinking some Legacy Two coming at you. Because you know, there's not much legacy left. <laughs> I mean, we got only 12 issues left, I guess. Now they have to wrap up the series in 12 fucking issues. Are you kidding me? This, we, it's Marvel's not going to continue them. So we got two series that have 12 issues left. I mean, sure, Star Wars the original, the self-titled is. 24 issues, but you know. Wait, I'm issue 11 now with Star Wars Legacy 2 that just came out. I don't know. I'm rambling. So, guys, have a nice day.